Pope Francis has a message for the world, a call to action to reverse climate change. He's actually scheduled to deliver it tomorrow, but a draft version has leaked. And while some are welcoming the Pope's opinion, certain skeptics are wishing he would just stay out of a highly controversial issue. NBC's Ann Thompson has more. Pope Francis today asking the world to welcome his encyclical on the environment. Questa nostra casa. This is our home, he said. If it is ruined, it damages everyone, especially the poor. But the world wonders if it is the Pope who is damaged, after a draft of the encyclical was leaked and published Monday. Does this suggest that there are people in that bureaucracy who are trying to upend Pope Francis's efforts? It certainly suggests that there are people who are resisting this, as only the locals can resist. No papal document in recent memory has generated so much interest. One man. Come on, Francis. We'll risk it all. Power of me compels you. Including a Hollywood-style trailer from Brazilian environmental activists. The draft covers many of the themes Francis has spoken about, from his first mass to visiting the typhoon-scarred Philippines. It embraces scientific studies that show man is mainly responsible for climate change and calls for urgent action. The challenging message is mostly directed to the richer nations of the world to think more carefully about their own lifestyles of consumption. Though church officials insist this is a moral call to action, the encyclical and this popular pope are now contentious issues in the Republican race for the White House. Four declared candidates and two others thinking about running are Catholics. Today, Jeb Bush praised Pope Francis as an extraordinary leader, but not on climate change. I don't go, go to mass for economic policy or for things in politics. I got enough people helping me along the way with that. This pope is not afraid of controversy and more than willing to use his bully pulpit to save what he believes God made. Ann Thompson, NBC News, Washington.